Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Spade channel. So this is a video for the Ninja Shadow Equipment. Previously, I had made a video for the Ninja Skills. If you want to know what are the Ninja Job Class Skills, you should check that out. I'll link the video in the video description below. As you may already know, the Ninja can use two different weapons. The Ninja Sword and the Ninja Shuriken. And with that, we have two Shadow Equipment as well. One for for each weapon. So let's start with shadow equipment for the ninja sword weapon first. For inscription, it has stats for strength, dex, physical penetration, physical damage bonus, final haste, and physical attack. All of the core stats that a penetration build should have. On pioneer, it has physical attack, haste, final physical penetration, final physical damage bonus, and physical lifesteal, enhancing further the previous stats. Next, for bound, we have throw shuriken 1. Increase final physical damage bonus by 2.5%. Last 7 seconds and stacks up to 3 times. Shadow jump. During the skill duration, additionally deal 180% shadow attribute physical damage to surrounding 4 meter targets. Throw shuriken 2. After using the skill, inflict bleed effect to the target, dealing 40% neutral attribute physical damage every second. Last 7 seconds seconds and can stacks up to 3 times. And miss slash. After using the skill, remove and resist all debuff. Last 5 seconds. Movement speed is also increased by 40%. Last for 10 seconds. All of the skills additional effects are quite straightforward. All skills increases the damage limit. With miss slash skill, remove and resist debuff effect will be very useful. This can be used for escaping in PvP. Next for engrave we have North Wind. Every target hit by the skill will additionally increase shadow and neutral attribute damage by 3%. Last 4 seconds stacks up to 5 times, so 15%. Chaotic Dance has 28% chance to gain 2 stacks of blocking effect, with each stack can block 1 time physical damage up to 20 times. Shadow Slash If the target has slow, freeze, stun, immobilize, and petrify debuff, additionally deal 68% shadow attribute physical damage. If the target is within 3 meters, additionally decrease shadow slash skill cooldown by 1 second. And final strike, within 5 seconds after using the skill, when dealing neutral damage skill or normal attack, additionally deal 33% weapon attribute ignore defend damage for 1 time. Deal additional 100% damage to target with bleeding effect, triggered up to 20 times. It is kind of tricky to use this skill as this effect condition can only be triggered when dealing neutral damage. Most probably, you will have shadow attribute for ninja, right? So I'm not sure how you can pull this off. Next, for validation, we have Kagemusha. When in hiding state, SP consumption decreased by 1% and recovers 1.2% maximum HP every second. Basically, the ninja is very hard to die. It has escape skill and cover HP on top of that. Soul. When activating soul, every soul effect gain has 28% chance to gain additional 1 stack of soul. Swirling Shuriken. Every time the skill deal damage to the target, increase 1.5% physical lifesteal. Last 10 seconds, stacks up to 20 times. And Shadow Clone. Shadow Clone summon chance increase by 14% and the Shadow Clone damage deal is increased by 9%. For contract, we have Chaotic Dance 2. Every time the skill deal damage to the target, decrease the target maximum HP limit by 0.75%. Last 10 seconds, stacks up to 10 times. Shadow Mist. After the Shadow Mist hiding effect, text effect, shorten its fixed cooldown by 1.4 seconds. Last 5 seconds. And the cooldown time is 25 seconds. Throw Shuriken Shadow Area. Increase 6.6% maximum HP every second when you are inside the shadow area. You see, again, a recovery HP skill effect. The ninja not just have offensive skills, but also HP recovery skill effect. Seems like a perfect job class for PvP player. And Laijutsu. Increase Laijutsu slash damage by 56%. Increase energy wave damage by 13%. Recovers receive damage during Laijutsu.
should see stance times 100% HP after releasing energy wave. And finally for soul, we have soul 2, soul stack limit increased by 1, cast of cicada shell, the skill cooldown is decreased by 3 seconds, make your shisui, increase pvp final physical damage bonus by 3% for every 2 seconds, last 40 seconds, stack up to 10 times, and lastly illusion jusatsu, every target present within the grim reaper range, the skill effect is recovered by 0.3 seconds, triggered every 2 seconds, meaning the grim reaper will exist longer, the more player it chests, lowering down the target HP even more. Alright, let's look at the shuriken weapon shadow equipment. For inscription, instead of strength, we have I and T, and basically all are the same, just that the physical attribute is changed to magic instead. Same with the pioneer. For bound, we have water escape technique wave 1. After using the skill, gain a shield for 12 seconds. Your armor attribute is transformed to the water element. Water escape technique vortex shuriken 1. Magic defense of the target within the vortex is decreased by 4% every second for 8 seconds. Stacks up to 3 times. Water escape technique wave 2. Gain more shield than the wave 1 skill. And add 10 percent freeze resistant for 12 seconds. During the shield period, the armor is transformed to water attribute. Water escape technique Vortex Shuriken 2. Magic defense is decreased more than the Vortex Shuriken 1 skill and aid with frozen effect after 3 stacks. For engrave, now we have the fire element skill. Fire escape technique Fire Breath 1. After using the skill, gain 2 percent magic reflect buff for 8 seconds. Stacks up to 10 times. During this effect, every time when you receive damage, gain 1 stack of reflect buff lasts for 8 seconds. So as long as you receive damage, you will continuously have the reflect buff. Fire escape technique Explosive Shuriken 1. The explosion caused by the explosive shuriken will also ignite the surrounding targets, 5 targets at most. The ignited targets and its surrounding other targets will receive 51% fire attribute magic damage for 5 seconds. Basically, they are burned after the explosion, and the burn effect also burn the nearby players. Fire escape technique Fire Breath 2. Gain 1 stack of backfire buff effect. Last 8 seconds stacks up to 10 times. When attacked, the attacker will receive backfire fire attribute magic damage. During this effect period, gain 1 stack of backfire buff. Last 8 seconds. I don't know what is the difference between this effect and the reflect effect. It sounds similar, but perhaps the backfire buff reflect fire damage regardless if you receive physical damage or magic damage. Fire escape technique explosive shuriken 2. The ignited targets and its surrounding 4 meter targets will receive more fire attribute magic damage. If there is only one target, target additionally receive 396% fire attribute magic damage. Next for validation, now we have the wind element skill. Wind escape technique thundercloud 1. Additionally, deal wind attribute magic damage to one random target. Targets within 3 meter range receive additional 28% increased damage. Wind escape technique Gale Shuriken 1. Inflict darkness effect to the target. If the target is already inflicted by darkness effect, additionally deal 120% wind attribute damage and decrease the target final haste by 8% for 5 seconds. Wind escape technique Thundercloud 2. Additionally deal higher wind attribute magic damage. And that's it. And wind escape technique Gale Shuriken 2. Inflict darkness to the target. If the target is already has darkness, deal more wind attribute damage. And all of the target's skill cooldown is increased by 3 seconds, lasts for 5 seconds. Next for contract, now we have the 3 element god skills. The first one, Vulcan escape technique Kagusuchi. When Kagusuchi skill successfully kill any target, can cast one more Kagusuchi within 3 seconds. This skill do not require the fire seal to cast. The damage for this skill deal 100% more damage can trigger every 15 seconds. God of Water Escape Technique Mitsuha. Slow effect is increased by 0.3 point. Slow resistance start of
of their targets within the affected area is further decreased by 28%. Those with their skill can easily escape this. Those without any movement utility skill will be having trouble to escape. God of Thunder Escape Technique Takemikazuchi For every target present under the skill effect, Takemikazuchi deal additional 195% magic damage countered up to 5 targets at most. An Ultra Ultimate Huma Trinity Escape Technique Skill Vortex Gale and Explosive Shuriken triggered by Huma Trinity Skill will ignore the target 28% Water, Fire and Wind Attribute Reduction Stat. For every target hit by the Shuriken has 28% chance to reduce Huma Trinity Skill cooldown by 1 second. And finally, for Soul, it is basically having the same skill with the Ninja Sword Shadow Equipment, with only the first skill is different, Izayoi. When a Scap Technique skill hit more than one target, decrease Izayoi skill cooldown by 0.3 seconds for every additional target hit. Triggered every 4 seconds, cooldown reduction counted up to 4 targets. And that is all of the Ninja Shadow Equipment. To be honest, my character here for this video is Oboro, the female ninja. I didn't look at Kagero, the male ninja shadow equipment, but since there is no gender specific skill like the Kagehumi and Zangetsu skill in the shadow equipment, I can say that both Kagero and Oboro have the same shadow equipment. So let me know what do you think of the ninja shadow equipment, which one is better? That's it for this video, this time video shoutout goes to Thank you for always supporting me on this channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. And as always, happy playing, bye bye.